Takaku babes, you are not ready for this. Last time, Asia's robots battled for the crown. But today, we're unleashing America's wildest machines. And trust me, the last one will blow your mind. A secret challenger you'll only see here. Place your bets in the comments which robot is taking the crown. Now every generation had their thing, Pokemon, Tamagotchi. That secret challenge is about to change the game. It's about to be AI era's must have. A robot you can build, code, and make your own. Shh, that's wild. Let's break them down and don't blink. You'll want to catch every second. Stop! Yo, Takaku Squad. Buckle up, because we're diving into the parkour king of humanoid robots, Boston Dynamics Atlas. This beast has gone viral for its uncanny, almost too human moves that spark memes and fan art everywhere. Over 100 million views on those backflip clips. It's like the robot world's breakout star. Yo, Atlas is the OG legend. This electric beast does parkour like Attack on Titan's Levi. But with all mights plus ultra energy. Fun fact, when I was a kid, my friend's parents used to work at Boston Dynamics. We'd joke about it every day, how they would make the real T2 from Terminator. Well, here we are a couple years later. Atlas is what happens when you cross Astro Boy with Levi Ackerman and give them unlimited stamina. This thing has 28 degrees of freedom. That's more flexible than most yoga instructors. It can literally move in ways that go beyond human range of motion. Beyond human? Beyond human. It's doing moves that would send me to physical therapy for six months. Quick stats, 190 pounds, five foot from the ground. This titanium fury also moves at 2.5 meters per second. Damn. Which is faster than your grandma's electric scooter. But here's the anime plot twist. Atlas isn't for sale. It's a super secretive R&D platform. Strengths, most athletic robot alive, parkour flips that go viral, in a disaster response or individual stunts, it's a total star. Weakness? Battery life barely a Netflix episode, like one to two hours, and it's high maintenance. It's like having All Might as your bodyguard, but he needs a nap every hour and costs a fortune to maintain. Who wants that? It handles complex tasks using reinforcement learning AI, LiDAR sensors, and RGB cameras for killer 3D mapping. And get this fun fact, Atlas bleeds red hydraulic fluid if damaged, like a mecha straight out of Neon Genesis Evangelion. By the way, that head design, it's inspired by the Pixar lamp but it gives off those sleek anime assassin vibes. Speaking of assassins... Yeah, Mike, I heard you have a crush on Yor from Spy Family. Whoa, 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 hey, Nadia, focus here. We're talking about robots, not favorite waifus. <laughs> Drop your favorite Atlas move in the comments below. Parkour, breakdancing, or just standing there being intimidating. What anime character would you cast it as? Who's ready for more tech anime fusion? Hit subscribe and turn on notifications. We've got CES exclusives and anime-inspired deep dives coming. Hey Nadia, what about that figure 02? I keep seeing clips. This thing talks, learns, and can literally work side by side with humans. Is it true? It's like the cool transfer student of robots. Figure 02 is the mysterious new kid in class. Quiet but you just know it's hiding some wild skills. It's got six cameras for eyes, hands with 16 degrees of freedom, and dexterous enough to steal your waifu figurine. Sure. Well, get this. It is powered by custom AI, open AI roots, now in-house with NVIDIA boosts, and can actually learn by watching humans. Copy Ninja Vibes, anyone? Wait, it's actually working real jobs already? This isn't just a demo? Real jobs. BMW factories, warehouses. This thing is out here paying taxes. Well, not literally, but it's earning its keep. Five-hour battery life can also lift 44 pounds. Dang, that's next level. Imagine coming home and your robot roommate's like, Welcome back, senpai. Yes, but here's where it gets absolutely unhinged. Figure is building a factory called BotQ, where robots will help build more robots. I'm sorry, what? A robot factory. Building robots, run by robots, making more robots. We're literally watching the opening scenes of Terminator unfold in real time. FRBR, anyone? <laughs> okay, this is either the coolest thing ever or the beginning of every sci-fi movie that ends badly. Right? Well, for $130,000, Mike, you too can own your very own robot companion who can hold a full conversation, make you coffee, and help build the robot uprising. <laughs> Did you just casually drop the price? 
That's actually not as bad as I expected. Look, Atlas won't even tell us their price, but figure zero two is like, yeah, we cost as much as a luxury car. What's good? So final verdict, figure two is the cool rival that's quietly OP. Like that transfer student who aces the test while sleeping. He's part AF. My name is Park Jung Soo. Before we go to the next robot, here is that impressive footage of its sibling figure zero one demonstrating communication. What do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? on it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great. Can you put them there? Of course. Meet the dark horse of humanoid bots, Agility's Digit. If robots had anime arcs, Digit would be the hardworking sidekick who always shows up when it counts. Think, the Tanjiro of the warehouse world. Tanjiro, huh? So Digit's not flashy, but always grinding with pure heart and hustle. That's what you're talking about, huh? Spot on. Digit is already working in Amazon warehouses, carrying packages, climbing stairs, and never asking for a break. It's like the reliable best friend in every shonen anime. Always grinding, always there for the team. So let's run the stats. 143 pounds, 5 foot 9 from the ground with a 4 hour battery. Not bad. That's longer than a soccer match plus overtime. Walks at 1.5 meters per second can carry up to 35 pounds. But, whoa, 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 Nadia, the price tag is $250,000? <laughs> I know, but that's not the plot twist on this one. Digit doesn't have human legs. It has bird legs, ostrich legs to be specific. I'm sorry, what? Bird legs? Bird legs. The engineer said, what if we gave a robot the legs of a creature that can run 45 miles per hour? And apparently Amazon said, bet, you're hired. We are building multi-purpose robots that are human-centric. They need to go where people go, which means not just flat grounds. It means stairs. It means outdoors. It means walking off uh, the edge of a curb that you didn't see. It means snow if you're going outdoors at some point. The vision is to go where people go. In that case, why legs? Number one, we know how to do it. That was the foundation of the company and the history of the company is something we understand well and better than most anybody else in the world. Uh, the second is it works really well for today. You can balance on these things dynamically so you have a very small footprint and yet can reach up very high. You're using the legs to position the arms as this local manipulation solution. And it is core to our strategy for the future of human-centric, multi-purpose robots that are going to get out into the world and do useful things for people, uh, coexisting with people and being in human environments. So, so far, Team US has Atlas doing parkour, Figure 02 having deep conversations and building more of itself, and Digit just being the most employed robot in America, huh? Don't sleep on the sidekick. In every anime, the underdog gets their moment, and Digit's already making history as the first humanoid robot working side by side with humans at Amazon. Okay, respect. If you think Digit is cool, wait till you see what's next. We've got a robot coming up that's even more customizable. So stick around for the big reveal. So real talk, are robots stealing our jobs? Need to pull. It just got a $350 million check, and it's working at Mercedes right now. Google's in, and it's been known as the biggest robotics funding ever. Apollo's going full commercial by 2026. Wait, Google Google? Like, runs the internet Google? Yep, and here's the wild part. 
Mercedes is using Apollo in Hungary because they literally can't find enough humans for the job. Okay, so robots aren't stealing jobs. They're filling jobs nobody wants? Exactly. This isn't the Terminator timeline. It's the please help, we're understaffed timeline. Well, now we're going to try things my way for a change. So I hear NASA made this? Not quite. Aptronic collaborated heavily with NASA on Valkyrie, and there's even talk of using robots like Apollo to build Moon or Mars bases. So basically Mars is going to be colonized by robots before we even get there? Probably. With that gentle giant energy. Apollo's 160 pounds, 5 feet 8 inches from the ground, it lifts 55 pounds and is designed to be the safest robot out there. It has soft actuators, emergency stops, and a face that's more Pixar than Skynet. Mm-hmm. I also hear that it's got modular parts so you can swap out legs for wheels, hot swap batteries. It's like a non-stop hustle. And it's the iPhone of robots. Devs can build new apps or tasks for Apollo. It could end up doing jobs we haven't even thought of what yet. What do you see on the table? I see some colorful letter tiles on the table. Now could you spell me something that could be found in a deck of cards? Okay, how about the word ace? I can slide the tiles to spell it out. Can you pack me some Termix? Certainly. I can pack the trail mix for you. Yeah, but how much? I mean, so far we've been going up and up in price. Nadia, what you got on this one? No, Mike. This time we are coming down in price. Aptronic says price of a car. Like Honda Civic vibes. Okay, that's a little bit of a relief. I mean, a robot co-worker for Honda Civic money. That's kind of hype. Kind of scary. Your scary senses were tingling, huh? You may be right. Apollo's about to help build more Apollos too, joining Figure and Agility Robotics. It's all about scaling fast, Mike. So, when can we get one at home? I need one to do laundry, maybe cook my food while I'm watching my anime marathons. Not yet. For now, it's all factories and warehouses. But the dream? Groceries, cooking, helping older adults. Never calls in sick, never complains. Okay, so viewers, are you team Apollo for gentle giant vibes or are you team Atlas for athletic flex? And uh, Nadia, you said there's one more robot? I've been waiting for this one. What you got? Oh, you're not ready. Next up, Richie Mini, the open source robot that could be the Tamagotchi of the AI generation. Don't miss it. What if I told you there's a robot cheaper than your gaming setup? and you can build it yourself. Wait, what? Cheaper than my rig? Meet Richie Mini, the robot that just broke the internet by selling $500,000 worth of units in 24 hours, starting at $299. So let me feel this vibe. Richie Mini is basically the Ed or May of robots. Tiny, creative, and always up to something wild. It's open source, so you can literally hack it to do whatever you want? Yes and it's powered by Hugging Face, the same crew behind open source AI. You can download new personalities and skills from a community of 10 million users. It's like the Raspberry Pi of robots, affordable, modular, and always evolving. But that $299 price tag is like four AAA games for a custom robot? That you can build with your friends and own like the ultimate Gundam model. So this is this generation's Tamagotchi. But Mike, Richie Mini doesn't have arms or legs. Well, Tamagotchi didn't have arms and legs, but I know what you mean. Robot without arms? It's all about the vibes. Expressive antennas, LED emotions, and head movements more expressive than most humans. So it's basically a smart desktop pet. That holds conversations, recognizes faces, responds to voice commands, and learns from the internet. 11 inches tall, 3 pounds, perfect desk buddy. But can it actually do anything useful? Totally. It's made for learning programming, Python, JavaScript, even Scratch for kids. Scratch? The kids' language? Designed for everyone. Kids use Scratch, students use Python, pros use JavaScript. Most accessible robot ever made. So a 10-year-old and a Google engineer can both program it. Exactly. And because it's open source, the community keeps making it better. No company can kill it like Jibo or Cosmo. <laughs> this thing is immortal. Look at you immortalizing this thing. As long as the community exists, Richie Mini lives. First robot that can't be discontinued. 
Okay, I'm convinced. Where can I get one? They're shipping in batches through 2026, but you can start coding in simulation right now. So I can practice being a robot parent even before my bot arrives? Genius. Mm -hmm. For $299, anyone can have an AI companion that grows and learns with them. This was great, Nadia. Which robot won you over? Honestly, they're all amazing. Atlas for athletic energy, Figure 02 for conversations, Digit for hustle, Apollo for gentle giant vibes, and Richie Mini for making robots accessible to everyone. How about you guys? Which US robot would you want as your anime sidekick? Drop your pick in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more Tekaku vibes. And for our anime you. quote of this video, today it is from Kaiju number no. 8's Narumi Jen. Our lovable what? captain says, Manners, cleanliness, hard work, grace. I won't ask any of that from you. All I ask is one thing. Show me your unstoppable power. I don't need polite incompetence. No matter what Europe or Asia brings, the US is always ready to show up with unapologetic, overwhelming strength and a little bit of anime heart. Hope this quote gets you pumped for the week. Till next time.